eight months of flea and tick protection so you can skip the good boy. Learn more at Soresto.com. The Customer Journey Builder is chock full of features that allows you to work your magic from scratch. Depending on the plan you choose, there are many ways to start an automated journey, from when customers sign up, to recent shopping or marketing activity. You can even bring in data from the- Hey, Junior. Hey, Cody, what's up? Nothing. Hey, guys, guess what I found in the dumpster? Ooh, a dead dog. No, guess again. A dead cat. No, guess again. Uh, a raccoon that's dead. No, you're getting closer, though. Uh, is the thing you found dead? Yeah. Uh, uh a hippopotamus that, that, that's dead, and it's, it's dead. Oh, dude, that is the closest guess, but no. <laughs> it's a dartboard. What, how are any of those guesses close? Dude, it's not alive. But it's an object. You're mobbed an object. Whoa! <laughs> so why was there a dartboard in the dumpster? Do you know anybody that plays darts, dude? Um, no. <laughs> exactly! Well, some people play darts. Shut up, Cody! No one plays darts! Yeah, loser! Okay. Alright, so, you wanna play? Yeah, let's go! Let's, let's, play let's play. hang it up! In there, dude! It's all set up! So how do we play? You gotta throw a dart and try to hit a bullseye! That doesn't seem too hard! Alright, I'ma go first! Watch me get this bullseye, guys! Dang it! Wow, Joseph, you suck! I'd like to see you try four eyes! Well, I could do better than that! Okay, that's a bet! If you actually hit the bullseye, I'll give you my hat. Okay, deal. But if you don't, you have to give me Ken. Oh, um, I don't know about that. Are you scared, Cody? Yeah, you scared, huh? Uh, no, 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 I, I can do it. Uh, ha, I actually did it! Screw you, Joseph! No way, dude, I gotta see this! No way, no way, no way! Oh, uh, yeah, Joseph, it's in the red. Dang it! He cheated somehow! Give me that hat, Joseph. Yeah, deal's a deal. <laughs> oh, man! Oh man, guys, I never thought I'd look so good in a hat. Go die, Cody! You look like your name's Caleb. Huh, Caleb. Hey guys, I'm Caleb. Yeah, I like that. Everybody call me Caleb from now on. Go die, Caleb! Caleb, how did you possibly get a bullseye on the first try? Well, to be honest, I actually hustled you guys. I knew it! How did you hustle us? Well, I've actually been taking lessons from Gary Anderson. <laughs> Maybe you've heard of him. Who's Gary Anderson? You guys have never heard of Gary, the world champ Anderson? He's only the world champion at dart throwing. He's a world champion? Yeah, they don't just hand out that giant trophy to Losers, Junior. You know him? Know him? He's basically my father. He and my mom are friends from high school. Whenever he comes over, he tutors me on how to throw darts. That's lame. Yeah, well, most people might think that, but that's gonna be me one day. I'm gonna be holding up that giant trophy, and all the middle-aged women are gonna want me. They're not gonna be able to keep their men up paws off me. I mean, I'm gay, so it doesn't really matter, but it's more of a status thing. No women are gonna want you from playing darts. Oh, yeah? Tell that to Gary the Poon Gobbler Anderson. Look at that face. He's probably in bed with your mom right now. Hell, mine, most likely. I mean, how do you think I got those dart lessons? Ew, Cody. Well, if you're good at something, you don't do it for free. There's no way you know Gary Anderson. I know, it's kind of hard to believe that I'd be friends with an A-list celebrity like Gary Anderson, but I'll go call him. He always answers my calls. All right, guys, it's ringing. Now, whenever Gary answers, try not to scream. He gets enough of that whenever he wins, and he always wins. Bullseye! Hey, you've reached the voicemail box of Gary Anderson. Sorry I couldn't answer the phone. I'm too busy slinging it. Leave your message after the bullseye. Uh, hey, Gary, it's me, Cody. The mailbox is full and cannot accept any messages. Oh, well, at this his time. voicemail box is full. But that's because he's Gary Anderson and everyone wants to talk to him. I didn't know you were so lame, Caleb. Yeah, well, whenever you become friends with a sports superstar, you come talk to me. I don't think throwing darts is a sport. Well, it's... Uh, maybe. Uh -huh. Dude, I miss my hat. My head is so cold. Caleb, is there any way that Joseph can get his hat back? Well, maybe if he beats me at darts, but that'll never happen. Not unless he gets lessons from Gary Anderson. And judging by how he didn't answer my call, there's no way you're getting lessons. <laughs> maybe you could get in touch with John Lowe. <laughs> Who even is that? Uh, well, Joseph, can't you just buy another hat that looks just like it? No, dude, it was one of a kind. They don't make it anymore. Well, maybe you can find a new hat. I guess I gotta rummage in the dumpster and see what I can find. Yeah, and while you're in there, why don't you find some dart throwing skills? <laughs> it's not my best job. Hola chicos! Encontré esta sombrero! What? Hey guys, I found this hat. Oh wow, I really like that hat. Do you like it, Caleb? Uh, it's okay, I guess, but I like this hat better. Do you like it, Joseph? Yeah, I can get used to this hat, dude. It's pretty spiffy. Hey, can I use your bathroom? Oh, nice green hat, by the way. Uh, sorry for busting in here. I know I'd normally need a warrant, but a judge isn't gonna give me a warrant just to piss. Oh, hola, amigo, where you from? Huh? Uh, where you from? Uh, I'm from here. Really? Because your hat's making me think you're from Mexico. I'm American, dude! Oh, uh, okay, okay. I, I just, you know, do you have, like, any ID, like a card, or, like, uh, a, like a green card? Are you trying to profile me, sir? No, no, God, no, nothing like that. It's just your hat's kind of making me wonder. I think you need to leave, sir. Y yeah, yeah, you're right. I just... 
Mm, I just kind of want to. Now! Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think it would be safe, Joseph, if you found a different hat. Yeah, you're probably right, dude. All right, guys, what do you think of this hat? I mean, it's not really a hat, it's a football helmet. Yeah, it'll protect your head, though. Well, you know what? I think I'm going to keep it. Wait, is that a football? Oh, <laughs> <tackled you. laughs> nice tackle. Oh, that hurts so bad. Well, don't dress like a football player if you don't want to get tackled. You know what? I, I think I'm going to change my hat. I don't want to get hurt. All right, me mateys. How do you like me hat? Okay, that hat's sick. You know what? I'll trade you your old hat back for that one. Really? Okay, let's do it. Yar, why do you have me hat? Wait, this is your hat? I found it in a dumpster. No, you stole that hat from No Leg Pete, and stealing a pirate's hat is punishable by walking the plank. Oh, Joseph, just give it back. No, I'm not giving up this hat, dude. Caleb was going to trade me my hat back. If you don't give me back me hat, I'll put the curse of Davy Jones upon you. Joseph, just give it back. No, I'm not giving up this hat, dude. Just give it back. Oh, stop it. Stop it, dude. Here's your hat back. No, it be too late. And now I'm going to give you a gruesome death. Well, well, how did you lose your hand? Oh, that be a sad tale. I was sailing across the open ocean, and I ran into Gary the Goon Anderson. He challenged me to a dart throwing match for all me gold, and I lost. And Gary took me hand as a trophy. That sick bastard. Oh, uh, well, actually, we, we know Gary. Oh, no! No, don't tell Gary about this, please! Uh Oh, he took the hat with him. Oh, man, sorry, Joseph. You were about to get your hat back. I wanted that hat, too. Oh. I guess I'll get a new hat. Well, chewie, boy, fellers. How you like this Dundee hat right here? Wow, Joseph, I like that hat. Yes, sir, Re Bob. I'm from the white trashiest part of Alabama where everything's bigger. Isn't that Texas? No! Have you seen our women? They're wider than a double wide trailer. What do you think about it, Caleb? Well, I don't really understand the personality. Yeah, Joseph, you could just talk normal. No, dude. If I'm gonna wear this hat, I'm gonna wear it. It's gonna be my personality, okay? Okay. Oh, do you guys wanna hear a song? Not really. Oh, I slept with my sister. Seuss's hat. It's the cat's hat from Cat in the Hat. His name is Dr. Seuss. No, the cat's name is not Dr. Seuss. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Then what's the cat's name? Well, he doesn't have a name. It's just Cat. You're telling me this guy wrote thousands of books and he couldn't think of a name for the cat? Well, no, he's just the cat in the hat. No, his name's Dr. Seuss. Uh, oh, okay. Then who wrote Green Eggs and Ham? The cat named Dr. Seuss. <sighs> Shut up, Junior. So, Joseph, are you going to keep the hat? If I keep this hat, it may be a bad time because everything I say must end in a rhyme. Well, I don't think everything has to end in a rhyme. You can talk normal. I have to rhyme, even if it's a waste of time. Well, then rhyme with the word wolf. Uh, 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 uh do you see that wolf? Uh, how about we go and play golf? No, 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 no. That's bullshit. Yeah, that's not, yeah, take off the hat. You didn't rhyme. Well, now take no, it off, take I'll it off. I'll take off the damn hat. Shut up. Want to get your ninja on without ads? Get YouTube Premium. All YouTube, no interruptions. Our laughter is part of who we are. Embrace it. The Laughing Cow, because it's better to laugh. All right, guys, what do you think of this hat? Is that Chef Pee Pee's hat? No. Oh. Are you good at cooking? Yeah, cooking roadkill and eating bugs. Well, I guess we found your new hat then, Joseph. Joseph, give me my hat back. Uh, Chef Pee Pee, you need to wash your hair. It's like really dirty. Junior, you don't tell me what to do, okay? And no, I'm not gonna wash my hair. Washing your hair is bad for you. What? Joseph, give me my hat back right now. No, oh, I'm wearing it. Give me my hat! Ho, 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 guys. How do you like this hat? I mean, it's kind of loud. It's not loud. I love the jingles. Jingle bell, jingle bell. Hey, you. Get back to the shop. No days off. Wait, what? What shop? You're one of my elves. I own you. Aw, oh, man. Not this again. I didn't know this was the South Pole. I thought we were free up north. No, no. You're an elf. You make toys for me. Well, he's not really an elf. Well, he's wearing the official elf hat. Oh, well. Uh, take, take it off, Joseph. Stop it, dude! Take, uh, look, look, have it back. He's not really an elf. Mm. Find a new hat. God, I can't have any fun! I don't want to make Santa Claus mad. Uh, make sure you get my Christmas list, okay? Yeah, okay, whatever. Mm -mm. Hey, guys! What about this hat? Mm -mm. That's Jeffy's helmet. No, it's not. It's my hat! Mm -mm. Joseph, you can't just go around stealing people's hats. Dude, this is my hat, okay? Shut up! Hey, Joseph, give me my helmet back! What the? Uh, uh, Jeffy, come on! It's my hat! Joseph, you have to find a hat that's original to you. Dude, I have an original hat, but Caleb's wearing it right now. Well, go find a new hat. God! Spider Joseph, Spider Joseph, does whatever a Spider Joseph does. Joseph, you can't just wear Spider-Man's mask. Now, hold on, Caleb. I really like Spider-Man. It'd be really cool if Joseph wore a Spider-Man mask all the time. I know, right, dude? There, we meet again, Spider-Man. Oh, no, it's the Green Goblin! Oh, what is he doing here? Did you really think I wouldn't find you, Spider-Man? I want my revenge! What are you gonna do to me? This is a tortilla chip, and I'm making a mess on your couch! Oh no! Ah! 
got crumbs all over the couch. Joseph, hit him. Okay, dude. <sighs> oh, here, Joseph, you have to take that mask off. I don't want him to keep making crumbs on our couch. Oh, you're right, dude. That's fair. Oh, it's a big mess. Oh, meow, 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 meow. Oh, Jesus, Joseph. So you're a cat now? Meow, meow, meow. Ew, don't lick me. Meow, meow, meow. Ew, I think I kind of like this one. Well, I don't want to be friends with a furry. Oh, come on, Junior. Let's give him a chance. Mm -hmm. Good <laughs> Never mind, bad kitty, bad kitty. Yeah, Joseph, Joseph, get off him. Look, look, you were already a cat earlier today. You were Dr. Seuss. But his name is not Dr. Seuss. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Joseph, look, take the cat ears off. Go do something else. Oh, okay. Yeah, I want a different hat. But yeah, his name is Dr. Seuss. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It is not Dr. Seuss. It is. Thy king has arrived. Bow down to me, peasants. But Junior, don't bow. Just because he's wearing a crown doesn't mean he's a king. Off with thy court jester's head. I mean, he could be the Burger King. You hear thy nobleman? I am thy Burger King. King. And the crown looks really good on him. Well, not if he's gonna call us peasants all the time. Bringeth me my sweet sister so I can make sweet, sweet love to her. Oh, God, not this again. Wait, wait I thought that was only the cowboy hat. No, kings did that too. All right, Joseph, you're gonna do that sister stuff. You gotta take that off. Just go. Oh, but the sister! Go find a different hat. Uh, boom! Yeah! What are you screaming at, Caleb? Turn around. Ah! Okay, guys, what do you think about this hat? That's not a hat, that's a mask. Jesus, Joseph, I don't want to get scared every time I look at you. I mean, you have to look at your mom's big, fat, ugly, scary face every day. Well, is Caleb's mom fat and scary? I thought it was just Cody's mom. Oh, I think Caleb's mom is even fatter than Cody's mom. I mean, there's not a scale big enough to measure them because they're both fat. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but uh, Joseph, I definitely think you should change your mask because that is really scary. Oh, this is a good mask, though. All right, guys, what about this one? Oh, my God, that hat is so cool. It's a shark and it has teeth on it. That's so sick. Wait, you really like it, dude? Oh, I love it. What do you think about it, Caleb? That hat is badass. I want that. No, you can't have it. You have to stick with a stupid little green one. Hmm. Okay, you know what? How about we play darts for it and whoever wins gets both hats? You know what? That's not a bad idea. Let's do it. Why would you accept that, Joseph? He, he was he was trained by Gary the Poon Gobbler Anderson. Anderson Smanderson. <gasps> you bite your tongue. Nobody slanders Gary Anderson like that. I guess you could call Joseph Gary Slanderson. <laughs> yeah, I bring that fire. All right, let's go play. Yeah, let's play. All right, guys, the rules are you only get one dart. Whoever gets the best throw wins. Who wants to go first? <laughs> let me go first. This will be over before it even starts. Ladies first. Okay, let me just get in the zone. Think of Gary Anderson. Gary, 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 Gary. No, not you. Not John Lowe. Uh. Ha! You didn't even hit the board. I was too low. Damn you, John Lowe! All right, Joseph, all you have to do is hit the board and you win! Okay, I got this, dude. Think of Gary. Gary, 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 Gary! Yes! Yes, 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 yes! I get my hat back! <laughs> oh, dude, I'm so happy I got my hat back! Oh, I got two hats now! I can't believe John Lowe made me lose. Thanks a lot, John.